one for you. <laughs> Joey, she won't be able to lay another one for a week. Oh, that one, Will. Her fuss and bother don't mean a thing. <laughs> Do you always have to hunt them down like this? Well, no, most of them use the chicken house like respectable birds ought to. Come on, I'll show you. It's right over there. You gonna raise chickens at your new place, Mrs. Christopher? Yes, of course I am. Provided somebody who knows about that sort of thing's around to advise me. I wouldn't mind. It's settled. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cartwright, it was a wolf. It was over by the water trough. We scared it, I guess. It got away. That's the first time in my life I've ever fainted. Oh, I fainted two or three times in my lifetime. Always at the sight of the doctor's bills. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank heaven you had presence of mind to protect your throat, Mrs. Christopher. But if it hadn't been for Jamie... <sighs> Tell me about my homecoming party, Ben. How many people have you invited? All of your old friends and... Some new ones, and uh, women will be in their finest finery, and the men will be in their tight collars and tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> and music? Oh, yes. The best in Nevada. I'll need a new dress for that. I'll, I'll need a new dress with long sleeves. There. <clears throat> Feeling steadier now? Yes. Steady as a rock, thank you. Do I have time to go shopping for that new dress? I still think you should get some rest. Oh, no, no. I'm fine. Truly, I well, am. Well, I think the doctor's right. You should. Ben, I'm fine. Well, I'll come along with you. No, no. Then the new dress won't be a surprise, will it? All right, Mrs. Christopher. But you had a bad shock, and I think you ought to lie down for a while. I'll just think beautiful thoughts and overcome it. Well, I'll, I'll see you later. All right. It's a bad wound, Ben. We'll just have to wait and see. How oh, sad. Come along, see for yourself. Sam, 
that the dog that bit Sam had rabies. We don't know that the wolf does. The salivating could be from some kind of poison bait, strychnine, for instance. Well, there's got to be some way of finding out to be certain. The only way we can be certain is to ship the animal's body back to the medical laboratory in San Francisco. I will track that wolf down. Somehow we'll track him down and we'll send the carcass to the laboratory in San Francisco. I'll send a ranch hand along to make sure it doesn't go astray. Once it's there, how long before we get the report? A week. And if the worst... the worst comes to the worst, how long before the, uh, the symptoms begin to appear? Two weeks, a month. And there's no reason to say anything to April, one way or the other. All right? All right, Ben. Thank you. Ben! Look what I found. It has absolutely no use, except that it makes me happy. Yes, very beautiful. Oh, and you find yourself a dress. Oh, no, I don't want to find that too quickly. That'll spoil all the fun. I just want to see that one more shop over there. Oh, well, uh, don't be too long now. I really have to get back to the ranch. Here, I'll, I'll keep you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. being my friend. I won't be long. Looks like we picked up his track again. Fresh blood in the findings. The new China, just for you. Oh, I'm saying. <laughs> new China, new dress, new shoes, new gloves. This summer, a new house and a whole new life. Oh, I have the plans if you'd like to look at them now. I think this would be a very good time. I wouldn't think of building them without you. Jamie's volunteered for the chicken house. <laughs> Mr. Carwright, may I please be excused? Yes, of course. Jamie Gunn. 
Yeah. We uh, had a few chores. Oh, I'll show him later. Huh? Hey. Well. Well, it's good. Paul and I had these plans drawn up. When he died, I was going to burn them. I'm glad I didn't. I'm going to build it now for Laurie and me. Oh, what does Laurie think about it? Oh, she'll be joining me here as soon as school is out. Um, well, it's a fine-looking set of plans. Good-looking house. Mm -hmm. Do I have enough money? I think we should be able to fit into your budget. At April, if I'm going to ramrod this project, I've got to know where I'm going to build it. If you have time tomorrow, I'll show you the exact spot. Sure, of course, good. Is your arm hurting? Oh, a little. Uh, much as I hate to say it, I'm afraid I'll have to go get some rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. We had an old house in San Francisco. It always seemed to be listening to its own past. I'm looking forward to a new house. I want to say my own words and give the future something of mine to listen to. Oh. What? We forgot to plan the party. The decorations, the buffet. We only have a few days. There's plenty of time for that tomorrow. No, it's like going back to the beginning. Not many people get that chance. You're a very special person. Am I? Mm -hmm. Very special. <laughs> what are you doing that outfit? None of you. Helping me decorate. He's cleaned the curtains and he's helped dust and I hope I didn't take him away from anything important. Oh, if I did. No, 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 ma'am. I just never did see him in an apron before, that's all. <laughs> me neither. Well, it wasn't my idea. Of course it wasn't. If you'll just put that bow up there, you'll be all finished, Jamie. Yes, ma'am. Uh, if you're sure. Yes, I'm sure. I, uh, I hope I didn't spoil any of your plans, ma'am. No, as a matter of fact, you've just made my day. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll see you later. Hey, what's that for? To stand on. Oh, if you look around the kitchen in there, you might find an apron that fits you. <laughs> oh. Well, Hoss, why don't you look around the barn? You might find an apron to fit you. You've been at this all morning. Why don't you ease up? Oh, no. You're not pulling a Jamie on me. I need your help with this. If you will help me... Oh, put the ladder down. Get up here, then I can... Place that on that nail. All right. Now, would you go over to that side and drape your end on the other nail? We need... Oh, shorten it up just a little bit, Ben. That's fine. How's that? That's good. Now, all you have to do is get the middle. Uh, thank you. How's this? Oh. Oh, Ben. What's the matter? Ben, what 
what's wrong with me. Doctor's gone to the jail to see a patient. You'd better wait inside here. Oh, Ben, what a lot of bother. You let the doctor decide what's bothering what isn't. Now, you get inside. To, and it'll get worse. Sure looks bad. He, uh, he asked to be locked up, you know. He knew it was coming. Yeah. April's waiting in your office. Oh, has something happened? Well, she's come close to fainting a time or two. Oh, let's take a look. Now, this might... Sting just a little bit. Hold on to that for a moment, please. What's wrong with it, Doctor? It doesn't seem to be getting any better. Well, there still is a little infection there, you know. Ben, I'd like you to see that April conserves her strength and gets more rest. April, why don't we just postpone the party until I... Oh, Ben, no, please. Oh, I don't think there's any need for that, Ben, considering the fact that I'm going to be there and all. But I don't want you to use that arm. But I have so much to do. Do as I say. And tomorrow night, I'll show you how to dance the Virginia City Reel. Dr. Phelps, I invented the Virginia City Reel. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Ben, I uh, want you to take something along with you. I'll be right with you. This is only sugar water. But from now on, I want you to keep a close watch on her. Notice whether or not she becomes extra thirsty or whether she has any difficulty in drinking water. Whether she has an unusual reaction to the mere sight of water. There would be other reactions, too, probably. Hysteria, sudden anger. What if there are? Let's just hope there aren't. Doctor says a teaspoonful a day keeps the miseries away. I like the apple version better. Yeah. What was that? Uh, just a dog, I guess. Gee up. Hard to figure, ain't it? What's that? Tell a little Mary like that kicking her stall in splinters like this. Your pa's back. They went in the house. What'd he say? He said he'd be here in a minute. Come on. What'd the doctor say? Well, doing as well as can be expected at the moment. I don't... He won't risk a guess about the future. I don't guess we'll know anything for sure till we get that lab report, huh? That's right. And that's the problem. As if the report is bad. There's so many things she should be doing. You know, arranging her affairs, making plans for her daughter. Yeah. She's been happy as a metal lark. Wouldn't be right to change that unless we knew for sure, would it? Well, that was my thought. So let's not say anything until we have to. Oh, uh, 
Jamie. We're going to need the buggy in the morning. It'd be real nice if it was cleaned up and polished. I was going to do that. Good. And to keep the top down. April likes the sunshine. Yes. where Paul and I were going to build our house. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, very beautiful. It hasn't changed. No. There's no sense of time here. Do you feel it? You said something to me once I'll never forget. You said the longest and the shortest distance between people is time. Hmm. Do you still believe that? Yes, I do. I'd like to believe that, too. But I'm going to die, aren't I, Ben? Don't even think that. You and Joe and Haas hide it well. But I see it in Jamie's face every time I look at him. The wolf was rabid, wasn't it? We don't know that. Don't we?
that she even touched water, used it like that, at least that's encouraging. Well, is it hopeful? I don't know, Ben. It's too soon. Where the devil is that report? As soon as it gets here, I'll let you know. Yeah. Sorry. I know, Ben. It's, uh, it's not easy to stand by, helpless, when... What about the party? We're going to have that party tonight, Doctor. And we'll make it the best party that April Christopher ever had. I say, Mrs. Christopher, you look lovely. Well, thank you, kind sir. And you, my friend, you've never looked more distinguished. Well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Grab your partner for the Virginia City Reel. I want you to go ahead and dance. No, Dr. Phelps, you promised me a lesson in the Virginia City Reel. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Oh, me and my big mouth. Well, I guess I literally put my foot in it, didn't I? Show us, Dr. There we go. Hey, we need four more couples. Come on. Hey. Four more. One, two, three. Hello. Uh... Hi, Mr. Cartwright. Having a good time, Jamie? Yes, nice party. Yeah, it sure is. Jamie, I haven't seen you dancing. No, sir, and you're not about to either. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Cartwright. Jamie, would you like to dance? Uh, no, thanks. That's. Oh, oh, right. Now all join hands in circles of them. Let a little sunshine in your love. There's a first old cup for rip and start down that center when you cut them off short. Ladies go right and the gents go left. Now join your hands and circle to these. Circle eight till you get straight. Now the first couple bow and the first couple swing. Now face the outside of the ring. Sides fall in behind. She sure had a wonderful time. Yes. Now sash it down and form the line. And sash it down and you do it fine. And you back the weight. Head gents foot lady with a dose side dose. Head lady foot gent with a dose side dose. Now reel the line with a right elbow, and here we go. Now on to the next with a left elbow, with teeny, meeny, miny, bow, and don't you step on my big toe. Keep on going on down the line, and keep on going, you're doing fine. Now reel the line with a right elbow, and here we go. Now on to the next with a left elbow, with teeny, meeny, miny, bow, and don't you step on my big toe. Keep on going on down the line, and keep on going, you're doing fine. Now make an eye, just what you do, and you jump right under all two. Well, you were absolutely marvelous. Oh, this woman can dance. <laughs> yes, I know. How she put up with your footwork, Doctor, I'll never understand. <laughs> a lovely party, isn't it? Oh, I think this is our dance band. Make tonight last forever. I will. Promise? Oh, yes, I promise. You know, it's funny. I, I've only been back three weeks, and it feels like I've never really been gone. It feels as if I belong here. Do you know what I mean? You do belong. It's a whole new, bright, shiny life. Down at the end of a very long corridor, I see a very small door. I want very desperately to go through that door. Mm. I think I need a drink. All this soberness is going to my head. You all right? Ah, uh, yes. Uh. Dr. Phelps!
and I felt so strange. Strange? How? Well, sort of hollow and cold, and, and then the room started spinning. Mm. Well, you do still have a little fever. I feel much better now. How about the arm? Has there been any pain? That's odd. I haven't thought about that all evening. Well, that's something, isn't it? I'm terribly thirsty, though. I'll get you a glass of water. Thank you. Fine time for me to start acting like a woman. <laughs> I don't think your acting like a woman is going to come as any surprise to Ben. Am I that obvious? Well, let's say your feelings for Ben are not so obvious as the depth of a well or the width of a church door, but they'll do. <laughs> Quoting Shakespeare again, badly. Thank you. Mm. That's good. I'm sorry I spoiled your party, Ben. You didn't spoil it. You made it a success. Uh, Doctor, I think that's your buggy. Yes, well, I guess I know when I'm not wanted. Now, you get some rest. Good night. Good night, and thank you. Good night, Ben. Good night. Mr. Cartwright. Have I changed that much? I'm Laurie. Laurie Christopher. Laurie. <laughs> Laurie. What on earth? Surprise, Mother. Yes, I am. Dr. Phelps. This is my daughter, Laurie. How do you do? Hello, Laurie. I thought you had two more weeks of school. The dumbbells do. They're not your daughter. <laughs> Hi, hello. Oh, Laurie. My, 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 my. Look who's all grown up. Oh, have I? Yeah. I miss the big deals, though. Hmm, you would. <laughs> yeah. I'll take your leg, Jim. Thank you. Um, I'll give Laurie the room next to you, Paul. Uh, Two for so so coming over. And I've got so much to tell you. I don't know where to begin. It all sounds very exciting. I got a message for you, Doc. That fellow back in jail is getting worse, and the deputy, he don't know what to do. Oh. Ben. Why don't you begin at the beginning? It's, uh, it's Sam. He's taking a turn for the worse, so I'm going back to town. I'll come with you. No, no, no. Come with you. Excuse me, Dr. Phelps is going into town. Something's come up, and I'll go with him. I'll be back a little later, and I'll look after things. Thank you, Ben. It's marvelous seeing you. Thank you. Oh, another real reason I'm here. Charles and I are going to get married. Right away. Right away? Oh, he has a, a wonderful position in Boston with a shipping firm. And we want to get married right away because, well, it'll be two years before he can come back. Oh, two years, Mother. We don't want to wait that long. <laughs> I see. Oh, I knew you'd understand. I'm so happy. Oh, golly, and there's so much to do. We've got to make my dress and, and send out invitations and uh, everything. <laughs> yes. I've had a very long day. Why don't we go upstairs and talk about that? Hold him. Hold him down. Oh, I'm trying. Let me get in there. Oh. Watch this. Oh. 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 On his back. There we go. Has it taken effect already? No, Ben. He's asphyxiating.
all end that way. All the ones I've seen. The actual cause of death may be asphyxiation, as in Sam's case, but sometimes the bodily functions just give up. April. I'm afraid, Ben. Everything that's happened increases the probability. We can't wait any longer. She must be told. She knows. But at the party, she went. She knows. She's known for a couple of days now. Good morning. And it is a beautiful morning. Yes, it is. How Singh remembered me. Thank you. Let me fix your breakfast tray. I was coming down. I know. That's why I fixed the tray. Men are very nice. Charles especially, but sometimes they get in the way. <laughs> Time for woman talk. Oh, talk and plans and... Oh, I want you to be as happy about my marriage as I am. But you're not. As long as you uh, brought the coffee, why don't you pour it? Okay. I'm very happy about your marriage. Of all the young men who have ever come courting, Charles would be my choice for you. Well, I won't tell him you said that. He's vain as a peacock. <laughs> I doubt that. Have you set the date? No, that's why I'm here. Charles has to leave for Boston the first of next month. And he can delay that for a week or ten days, but... that still doesn't give us very much time. The sooner the better. The reason I'm very happy... is I know you'll always be loved and protected, as I was by your father. You sound as if you're going away or something. I am. But before I go, I want you to do something for me. Anything, but I don't understand. I want you to go back to San Francisco today. I want you and Charles to be married. Without you? I want you to stop back here on your way east. There'll still be time. Lori, listen to me. Do you remember when your father died? We were together when he died. How it helped the three of us to be together. This time, when I go, I want you to be by your husband's side. That's the way it should be. Oh, I don't believe it. It's true. I'm going to die. The verdict isn't in, but I know. In every way possible, I know. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, my dear. Ah! You'll be with me when it counts. Oh. I just wanted to let you know that Joe's taking Laurie into town to catch the noon stage. <laughs> What's this about? 
I'm defending my honor, of course. Well? I, I didn't know you were such a brazen woman. <laughs> oh, now that that's... Oh, 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 thirsty. A glass of water, please. I'll get it. I did the right thing with Laurie, didn't I? Yes. Yes, yes, you did. Uh, why? Why me? Why now? If I could make it me instead, I would. You've done so much to make me happy. Woman's vanity. I thought you were in love with me. Oh, April. Don't. Don't say anything. Compassion, when it comes, is the greatest form of love. I'm very grateful. One telegram, two faces of despair. The wolf was rabbit. One question, where do I go? I can't stay here. Virginia City Hospital. I've made the arrangements. I'll be a few minutes. I'll go with you. No, Ben. I've read and heard enough to know that I don't want you there. I know. But no power on earth can keep me from being there with you.
you notice what a beautiful morning it was? Remember that. Don't let that change. Take good care of my chickens. <laughs>